up YouTube? My name is Indiera. Welcome back to my channel. So, I'll be going over some Navy jargon with you guys so that way when you get to boot camp, you already know what they're talking about. Because I'm when I got there, when I say it's, it's a culture shock, it's a culture shock because they're using terms you don't know and they're saying stuff and you're just like, what? What does that mean? You know? So, I'm going to help you guys out with that. Starting off with some terms that you will use in the Navy and in boot camp. So, let's go. Guy. If they're saying guy, they're just talking about one of the males, any male. If you're a male, you're going to be called guy. You don't have a name, nothing. Your name is guy. So all the males will be to refer to as guy. For all my females, your new name is female. They're going to call you that. You don't, they don't call you by your last name. You can't. It's literally just female. Come here. When you are when you start to like build a relationship with your RDCs, yeah, they'll call you by your name. But in the beginning, everyone is female or male. I mean, not male. It's either female or guy. So, get used to that. Because I was weird. I'm like, are they calling me a female? Are they calling him a guy? It was weird at first, but yeah. Okay. Um, the head is the bathroom. So don't ever say bathroom boot camp. Just don't do it. It's you will get beat. Just don't say bathroom. It's always head. Head equals bathroom, okay? So no longer say bathroom or restroom or anything. It is the head. Okay? So getting beat or getting dropped. I know a lot of some people, you know, if you're new to, like, Navy life, you don't know what getting beat means. Getting beat, they're not going to really, they're not really beating you. Just trust and believe they are not doing that. <laughs> getting beat is basically, it's, it's punishment through physical exercise. So I, I made a video talking about the orange card and the exercises on the orange card. Yeah, that's what I mean by getting beat. So that's just push-ups, exercises that they know, you know what I mean, going to burn them abs, you know what I mean? So it's just exercises. Uh, Okay, so in boot camp, they're going to say this. You're going to need to know this. So they're going to say, on your two-pack. And when they're saying that, they, they just mean on your butt. Like, sit down, like get on your butt. And then you're probably doing some type of exercise, maybe like crunches or something. So whenever you hear that, on your two-pack, that just means get on your butt. Whenever they say on your six-pack, what do you think that means? Yeah, on your six-pack, which means get on your stomach. So they're going to use that a lot in boot camp, especially during like PT and whenever you get beat. They'll be like, on your two-pack or on your six-pack, and you're like, oh, shit, like, here we go. But yeah, but they use it a lot in PT, too, so just know that. All right, skivvies. Skivvies. Okay, skivvies are just those ugly white underwear that you'll be issued in boot camp. They're underwear. But remember, don't call it underwear. It's skivvies in boot camp. In the Navy, they don't care, of course. In boot camp, you know, everything's strict and the way they say terms and stuff. So, skivvies equals underwear. Okay, the bulkhead. The bulkhead is the wall, okay? It's all, it's the walls. So just know that. Whenever they say something about the bulkhead, they're talking about the wall. So just, they, they might say, like, get up against the bulkhead. Like, in P-Days, you're in line, you're scared, you're getting ready to go to chow, and you're in the middle of the P-Way, and they don't like the P- I'm going over that soon, hello. But yeah, the P-Way, like, safe in the middle of the P-Way, they're going to be like, get against the bulkhead, which means get against the wall. So just know that. Now, since I already said P-Way, let me just go ahead and hop the P-Way. So P-Way is basically the hallway. P-Way stands for passageway, but it, it's the hallway. So just, just know that. But don't call it a hallway. Call it P-Way in boot camp. Okay. The galley. The galley is the kitchen or the cafeteria. You know what I mean? It's, a, it's where you eat. It's the galley. It's the kitchen. Chow. Chow is another word for food. Let's go have chow. Let's go eat chow. It's just food. Let's go eat lunch. You can say let's go eat chow. Same thing. All right. So if they say go get the Cadillac, they ain't talking about no car, okay? The Cadillac is the mop bucket. No, let me not say mop. It's the swab bucket because the mop is the swab. So they'll be like, go get the... Cause I, always, I was always in charge of mopping in boot camp. So they'll be like, go get the Cadillac. And then you go get the little, the little swab bucket. And then the mop is a swab. You take the swab, put it in the Cadillac. Get the swab in. So yeah. Gear adrift. 
this will be a big one because you'll you know hear it a lot during inspections in boot camp and you hear it a lot when you're cleaning so basic gear drift is just items that aren't properly put away so for, say for example we're getting ready for like you do a lot of um, uniform inspections at boot camp so say I have like a little lint on me I just this little rubber band I'll just put it right here so y'all can see see it's like a little rubber band that's not that is that's not supposed to be on me this is my uniform I'm not supposed to have this on me so they're gonna be like what's that gear drift on you like why is this on you it's gear drift it's not supposed to be on your uniform or when you're um, when you're getting your bunk inspections and they're checking your rack to see how you you know how you made it and stuff, and if there's like a little piece of lint on your um, on your rack on your bed anywhere, they're gonna be like, "This is your drift. Why is this on here? Why is there lint on your bed?" Or on the floor, if there's those little dust bunnies, because you know when your sweats, those are like new. When you guys get your sweats, they're new, so they make these little blue dust bunnies everywhere. So they'll be like, "What's that gear drift on the floor? Get it up." You know what I mean? Even if there's trash on the floor, that's gear drift. It's not supposed to be there. So just know that, because that'll be a big one that you guys will need to know. Um, mustard. Okay, so mustard. I'm saying mustard, not mustard. Mustard. Just remember that. So mustard is basically just attendance. You're just taking, getting attendance. Mustard is just taking role, making sure that everyone's accounted for. That is basically exactly what mustard is. All right, you're going to hear this a lot. So if they say don't nuke it, that just means don't overthink it. You'll hear that a lot, like, you're nuking it, just just fold it up, or you're nuking it, just sweep it, whatever. Just nuke it means to overthink, so just know that. Reveille. Yay, Reveille. That means wake up. Taps means it's time for sleep. Taps means time to go to bed. Reveille is wake up, so just know that. Okay, so they'll use this a lot. So it's secure. So they say the scuttlebutt is secure, which means that means that the water fountain is secure, which means you cannot use it. Um, they'll say the head is secure, which means you can no longer go on the head because that probably means they just cleaned it or something like that. So secure basically just means to stop. So stop it. Head secure, stop using it. Talking is secure, stop talking. You know what I mean? It just secure means to stop, basically. Hmm. So fill day or clean compartment. That just means you're cleaning the the whole um, compartment. You're cleaning it. And A school, they use fill day, which means you're cleaning the, the barracks. In boot camp, it's clean compartment. But it's the same thing. Forward is towards the front of the ship. Aft is the back of the ship. And then you have port side is the left side of the ship. And starboard side is the right side of the ship. So you're, you're going to need to know that. So just get that in your head right now. Port means left. How I remembered it is port is four letters and left is four letters. So that's how I memorized that port was left side. Starboard side, right side. So just remember that. Um, I, I. So I, I means I understand and I will comply. So if you hear I, that just means I understand. But if you're saying I, I, I understand and I will comply. So, yeah. Um, bunk and rack, the same thing. It just means a bed. So you'll be sleeping, your bunk or your rack. If you ever hear any of the RDC say carry on, that just means continue doing what you were doing before. So, like, most of the time you'll be talking to them. Say, when they're done talking to you, they'll say carry on. That just means continue doing what you were doing before. But remember, you can't say that. Like, you don't say carry on in boot camp. Don't, don't say that at all. That's only really for the RDCs to use. But just know that if they are saying carry on, that just means continue doing what you were doing before. IT. Intensive training. So I remember our division got IT maybe. It was divisional IT. Um, maybe like three times. And that's bad because that means you're getting the orange card. <laughs> For like 45 minutes, your whole division, everyone, is in there on the tow line doing workouts. So, yeah, like when you are, say, if like your division talks too much or like you guys just aren't listening as a whole, they'll start divisional ITE. So, just remember that. And you can also get IT by yourself, like I did. Sorry, y'all. That's just a scar up in there. Yes. So, just know that. 
But yes, these are a lot of terms that I thought would help you guys because if you know them now, you'd be better prepared for boot camp. So yes, yeah, thank you again for watching my channel, supporting me, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, follow my journey. Uh, uh, you got the green light. Uh, uh,